this is not an easy thing that was happening, right? You got Absolutely. somebody try to kill you. Yeah. Your wife gets shot in her head. Your children might be in danger. You have to run, leave your country. You go to England. You don't know what happened. You know, you, you question your faith. You find out say you have cancer. What the, like what the, like what is going yeah. on, bro? Yeah. From the beginning. Right, I am sitting next to a man who's taken the word legacy to another level. I am so privileged and so damn lucky to be sitting next to Ziggy Marley right now. This is an icon, an entrepreneur, an artist, you know, a man who is also a producer of a film that's captured a real moment in history, you know, for sure. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you know, surely you've heard of Bob Marley. If you haven't heard of Bob Marley, you're, you're certainly lying to me. It's such a privilege to sit with you right now. Yeah, Ziggy, man, how are you feeling? Feel good, happy, happy, happy. We're here, you know? Do you know what makes me happy? It's the fact that you've been to my country. <laughs> That's what makes me happy. It's the fact yeah, that you've been, you went to Congo and, you know, I know how passionate your father was yeah. about Africa, yeah. right? And, yeah. um, you know, one of his first time was in Zimbabwe. Yeah. But you're saying to me that after that, one of your first visits beyond that was Congo. Yeah, it was Congo. No, I mean... My father, you know, the album Survival. People ask me a question, like, what's your favorite song of your father? I'm saying, yeah. I don't have a favorite song, I have a favorite album, Survival. Right. Which was a very um, pro African album. And then uh, that album, Zimbabwe is on that album. So we went to Zimbabwe, and that started my journey into like wanting to know more about Africa yeah. and explore Africa. And so, any chance I'd gotten after that to go to Africa, I took the chance. And my mother, Took me and my brother Stephen. We went with an artist named Half Pint. Was with us to Sky High. We went to Congo for some seminar, and we had a, a, a beautiful experience there. Just being in Africa, I mean, I was so. I wrote a song. There's a song I wrote called "Black My Story." Right. It's. I was. That was written in Congo. Do you know what? Separate to this, we're gonna have a long conversation about Congo <laughs> now for sure. You know what led you to making this biopic? He's a spiritual person, you know, and um. My experience in life, and I guess it's coming from my father, my mother, my whole family, because we are spiritual people. Yeah. So I have no idea why I choose th this time for, hey, let me try and make a movie. I, I have I no think. idea why. What was the one thing that you wanted us as the viewers to take away from this film? As you say, be on the inside. Yeah. Um, this is the Bob Marley. You, you're not seeing the, this Bob Marley in the interviews. You're not seeing him in the pictures. This is Bob life. You are... You are in Bob's world. You are invited into his inner circle. And whatever emotional connection or reaction you have to being in that, in the inner circles, being with Bob and the group and everybody, yeah. and sitting there and seeing what happened, whatever emotional reaction you have is up to how you feel, not from the outside. Do you know what's crazy? Ziggy, I'm going to tell you this, yeah? As you're saying, Bob, I keep seeing Kingsley. Yeah. Right, and and I came across your socials, and there was a moment where you were speaking about, you know, what captured you, how, why Kingsley stood out. Yeah, 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 yeah. And after seeing that, I can't unsee him. Like, you know, I feel like <laughs> you know your father better than me, my guy. Okay, but I feel like there was just something really special. What was it specifically, especially not just before you know you guys picked him, but during the film and after? What was it that you think really made him hit the nail on the head from the get go? We say, yo, it have authentic, you know, it have a real. Um, and Kingsley was on board with that. So for me, the important thing with Kingsley is that the emotional depth that he could go into, right. even stuff that I, that you can't, you couldn't direct it, you couldn't write it. It's something where he must have come up with himself through his own research and his own interpretation of Bob and what Bob was going through must have been moments where he, you know, actors will go into a, a different space yeah. that maybe triggered a moment in your life Yeah. you kind of go, you know what, actually, I also need to mention this. Did, did yeah. those moments come up? Yeah. Yeah, man, I mean, it's just, as I said, for me, it's like, it, it made me think. And I never, I'd never really thought about it before, right? Mm. What my father was I got through emotionally. Like, this is some... This is not an easy thing that was happening, right? You got somebody try to kill you. Yeah. Your wife gets shot in her head. Your children might be in danger. You have to run, leave your country. You go to England. You don't know what happened. You know, you, you question your faith. You find out say you have cancer. What the, like, what the, like, what is going yeah. on, bro? Yeah. 
So it made me think about my father must have been going through some emotional shit that he would never show anybody. Yeah. And we try to explore that the human side, you know, the, the human side of the, him is what Kingsley was trying, was tapping into. The assassination attempt, I wanted to go to rehearsals, you know, with, 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 with my mother. I was like, take me to rehearsal. And she was like, again, the spirit. Because if she had taken me, who knows what would have happened. Yeah. She was like, no, 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 you have school tomorrow, you can't come rehearsal. I'm like, no, please. She said, no. Mother's wisdom, you know. And so I didn't go. But the night, in the middle of the night while we were sleeping, the police come and right. yeah. like, grab me up. And it was so, like, chaotic and hectic. And, like, what? The, like we don't, we don't know what's going on. Your mother and father, the bond, yeah. was just like, you know, like no other bond that we know, no. like especially after seeing that you wouldn't have been in a lot of these conversations. Right. Of course, mum's still there to advise on set as well, to, you know. But like, for you, how did you yourself help the the actors capture those bonds? Because it was serious. There were moments where you know, like the arguments that were happening outside the party. Those moments where mum's concerned about the children. How t how did you make sure that the actors could? Lashana Lynch absolutely. She captured your mom. Let's try to mash it up, man. Let's try to... Proper mash it up. In the scene where he wants to go to Africa, yeah. and they must say, but Africa, there's no infrastructure. And they say, we can't build it. That was Bob. Because when he went to Zimbabwe for the independence celebration, the government could only afford for him to come. Right. But what he did was, no, he's going to pay for everybody. He's going to pay for the band. He's going to pay for the stage. He's going to bring a sound system. So he built it. A lot of that is shown in the film. You understand? The conversation when he's making sure he said, I don't care about the money. Yeah, right. I don't worry about the money. No. I, like, I just want to get there. Yeah, so that was very important for me to reflect because, you know, you can whitewash Bob. People can, you know, them can paint him as a, a, a sterile yeah. figure of very comfortable person who, yeah, peace and love. And, but the Pan-Africanism, the militancy of Bob is what we wanted also to express. But as a, as legacy, you yourself, your father continued, um, you know, his legacy through you guys. You had the band, you and your your sisters and your brother, mm. of course. But then you've also got Mystique and, and Skip also continuing that. Uh, is this something that you want to just kind of withstand the test of time? Yeah, I mean, if it is, if it is what it, if it's real, there's an integrity in what we do. We just want the younger one them understand it in that level of. Is a, you know, it's it's a purpose. It's a deep. It's a deep thing. It's a deep thing. It's a it's a really deep thing. You know. <laughs> it is for all of us, man. Yeah. My guy Ziggy. Yeah, yeah man. man. Yeah, man. Respect, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, man. Long yeah, man. Respect, respect. Yeah. Yeah, man. One love, one heart, one destiny. I wanna